Yo, what's good, guys? Um, this is a restaurant called Panberries. They sell like little pies that they bake and different kinds of stuff in. They closed down a little bit for a while because of the pandemic, but now they're back open. Um, and yeah, they just sell like a whole bunch of different little pies and stuff like that. And it's, uh, it's really good. It's really good. Um, right now, I have the steak and stout, and then I got the English, uh, uh, well, Southern breakfast. That's like chicken sausage and egg and stuff in it as well. And it comes with a little can of maple syrup as well. So yeah, it's really good. I think you all should try it. It's in the municipal market. What's up y'all? So right now I'm at Del Taco and I'm trying out the place for the first time. Never been here before. Always saw it and I was wondering about it. So today is the day I decided to go inside the El Taco. So the inside area looks pretty good, you know, for the taco spot. Um, so that's the menu right there. Has a lot of options. I can say that the caramel cheesecake bites were amazing. Just amazing. So I asked for a vanilla milkshake, but all they gave me is ice cream in a cup. So that was really disappointing. And then the tacos are not even wrapped, so. Oh, hell no! As you can see, they were real lazy because they didn't even shake my milkshake. Like, that's disappointing. And then they didn't wrap the tacos, so. Two out of ten. Right now I'm at Life Bistro. This is my first time going here. All they have is vegan food. So if you're vegan, here's a place for you. As you can see right here, there's no cash accepted. So definitely have your card on you. As you can see, the inside looks nice. It's very small. It being this small, I think it's more intimate. So if you have a chance, and if you wanna try a vegan option, check out this place. What's up y'all? So I just went to what, what it? Life Bistro, vegan restaurant. I'm trying their mac and cheese, but no cheese in it. How'd that work? It tastes good. I don't know what they put in it. It tastes vegetable, vegetable based. And it's not too bad. Better than that crab mac and cheese, that fake stuff. Just saying. Okay. How you feel about it? So oh. it's good. It's really good. I like the seasoning on it. So right here we got the um, vegan po' boy. What the hell is even that? Shout out to Louisiana because that's where the po' boy come from. At least for as far as I know. Oh yeah. This is no for me. No my god. This is no for me. I can know. Don't like it. Damn. You hate to see it. <laughs> nice piece, bro. Yeah, maybe it was just today, but today it wasn't it. 
like, uh, like, I don't know, the pasta, wait, the po' boy should have had like a ring of sauce or something, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. It's like the uh, Krabby Patty episode, Nasty Patty, it kind of had that kind of look for the cauliflower, the old key look. But, um, like, I, I mean, the shrimp part wasn't too bad, but it's like, they had the purple lettuce. Or is it, is it, is it purple, lettuce? purple cabbage, either thing, either one. Purple cabbage, whatever. I'm like, oh, it was just too much. I'm like, dang, why can't this end? But you know, I had to finish my food because my mom taught me well. <laughs> we don't waste money around here. Hello, sir. Uh, what else? So we apparently we ordered takeout, and then they told us that we can't sit on the tables. So my thing is, we wasn't. It's not like they have so many people. Like, why can't we sit down? Yeah, it was not busy at all. There's a, I mean, they say, oh, you can sit at the, uh, the bar. I'm like, I want to get in the table. They weren't busy, especially for the food. They come out the way it did. It wasn't. It wasn't. They just kind of threw it together, but maybe it was just off day. But, you know. But, you know, keep vegan, you know. <laughs> Check out Hop's Chicken. It's a restaurant located in the Ponce Market. Of course, if you saw one of my earlier videos, you can see a little inside of the Ponce Market. And of course, there's lots of places you go to. Um, they have parking. You gotta pay for it, but I believe parking is very affordable, like under $6, depending on how long you stay. So definitely, if you get a chance, check out Hop's Chicken. Myself, I got myself an original chicken sandwich, and I got myself a tea, a sweet tea, to be exact. And I like the chicken sandwich, and the tea was good too, so definitely check it out. So here we have a place called Wildly Brew Company. It's a great place if you want to go with some friends and have a good time. Um, the building itself, they sell alcohol. You also buy some merchandise. Sometimes they will host special events. Um, the main thing that you gotta know is the building itself, they do not sell food. They only sell alcohol. So it's just a brewery. You also need to know that this place is in LaGrange, Georgia, and is very far away from Atlanta. So if you do consider going here and having a good time, just know that that's a far distance. So be prepared for that drive. So if you do decide to visit this place, know that there's a park you can go to and a far distance, you can see that there's a skate park. So if you're a skater, this might be the area for you. So right now I'm about to show you what the inside looks like. As you can see, there's 
things you could buy like shirts, plates, hats, bags. So definitely check out this place if you want to. Um, the inside looks nice. A great place for a brewery. And of course, there's lots of different kinds of alcohol you can purchase. And I think this is a great for like events. So definitely check it out when you get a chance.